Hey everyone, it is the middle of February and I'm back in the greenhouse. I'm getting some seeds started today and I also wanted to give you a little look-see into how our onions are doing. I started them two weeks ago and they're looking really good. And I figure I'll give you an update on how our greenhouse inside a greenhouse is working and functioning. We also are doing a little bit of an experiment. We are starting our own sweet potato slips this year from sweet potatoes we harvested last year. So I'll show you what I'm doing to start my own slips and hopefully uh, it'll be successful. And I'm also doing a little bit of an experiment with some lavender. So I'll give you a quick peek into what we're doing there. The first thing I'm going to do today is get started with some peppers. Um, now, if you were following me last year, you know I do start my peppers very early here in upstate New York, zone 5B. I prefer to put a little extra work into them so that I get better yields in our short growing season. We only have, you know, about 110 day growing days in our zone and in our area. So in order to maximize the amount of peppers, hot and sweet peppers that we can get, I do start my peppers usually mid to late February. So I'm gonna get those started, kind of show you what I do, and we're gonna get them put on to some heat mats and get them germinating. So I'm inside my mini greenhouse, inside of the greenhouse, and I have some pepper started right here. I got a whole tray full of hot peppers and some bell peppers, and I'll probably be doing a whole nother tray or two as well to come onto these uh, heat mats. With your peppers, you do want to put them on heated germination mats. The heat will help them germinate. Um, I have my LED lights really close, and I also have my little heater down here, my little oil-filled electric radiant heater going. I have it set to 74. It's been doing fabulous, even on our really bitter cold nights. Um, it's gotten down to like 15, and this bad boy will still hold at like 60 degrees minimum for me. Um, I'm very impressed, I'm very happy. I do have some fans circulating air. And you know, when the sun is out, 
our greenhouse gets to be like 90 degrees, it, even when it's like 30 degrees outside. So all of that heat that comes in the day, I can turn off my heater, I can open and vent the door to this mini greenhouse, and all of my plants are getting, you know, air circulation, they're staying warm, I'm saving money because I can turn off the heater, and I think the best thing about it is I don't have to start my seeds in the house and cause a huge mess because that was getting to be a, a, little, a little hard to deal with um, doing my seedlings on the kitchen table. Um, so also I want to show you two weeks ago I started our onions and our shallots. So they are doing fabulous. I'm going to give you a close-up look on them. As you can see here I got two trays. One tray is for shallots and the other tray is for Patterson hybrid onions. I just gave them a little trim yesterday. They were, you know, about five inches tall. So I just trimmed them back to about, you know, three or so inches and they are doing lovely. So those will probably go out I think it's the end of March. I have to double check my planner. So they definitely got about another month to do their thing. I'll probably give them a little bit of fertilizer, um, you know, very diluted fish fertilizer, just to pop some nutrients in there for them, have them keep growing nice and healthy. Now back here, you'll see I have some sweet potatoes and they are halfway buried in my seed starting mix. The concept with the sweet potato slips is that you put them halfway buried in the soil and they will send up these green shoots or slips that once they get to be a couple inches tall, you can very gently kind of uh, like break them off of the sweet potato and then put them into some water. And at that point, they will send out um, roots out at the bottom and you will keep them there until you're ready to plant when the weather is right you know, in your area for the sweet potatoes. For us, that would be probably the very end of May. They prefer warmer weather. They also take longer to harvest, right? Sweet potatoes take, what is it, 100 to, and 10, 120 days. So I wanna have my sweet potato slips ready to go right out into the garden as soon as it's warm enough to get them, get them in. So I'm gonna see, I've never done my own sweet potato slips like this before. I've always ordered them. They are kind of expensive, so I wanted to give this a try. I had some sweet potatoes that were kind of funky looking from last year's harvest. They almost look like big like worms. So um, I, didn't, was, I didn't use them in the kitchen and they were kind of just sitting around. So I figured, hey, why don't we at least try to see if I can get some slips out of them. And they are the Beauregard uh, variety, which Beauregard sweet potatoes have just a delicious, delicious taste, very sweet. Um, we really, really do like that kind. One thing I do want to show you that I'm seeing here, which is cool, is you can see there's already some like roots setting up at the bottom of my container here. I have a repurposed salad container that I drilled some holes into the bottom and then I set them on a tray over a heated germination mat and I'm keeping the soil very moist um, to help them sprout those those green shoots and give me those sweet potato slips. So it's really kind of neat to see <laughs> those roots already forming like that. Um, yeah, so we'll see how my experiment goes. Now, one other experiment that I'm doing is with lavender. I've never started my own lavender. Um, it does need to be cold stratified. Um, it needs to go through like this cold kind of like overwintering in order for it to germinate. So I took half of my Elegance Pink Lavender seeds and I put them on a moist paper towel for 40 days in the fridge. Those I just put in to some seed starting soil yesterday. I got them in here. They're basically surface sown because they're so tiny. Uh, so I got those in there and I have them on the heated germination mat. 
getting ready to hopefully germinate for me. I have my vent partially, you can see I have the vent kind of partially open just to let a little bit of circulation in there. But I wanna make sure that the that it's on a heated germination mat, it's staying warm until it sprouts. Uh, let me show you what I'm doing with the other half of my lavender seeds. In the very back corner of this greenhouse, on the very cold stone floor, I have another small tray of lavender seeds. So what I'm doing there is basically the same concept of, of using the fridge, right, to cold stratify. Um, I'm keeping it in a very cold place inside the greenhouse that's already, and they're already on, on the soil. So they're overwintering, cold stratifying down in the cold area of the greenhouse floor. They're already in the dirt. They're being kept moist. And I'm going to hold them there for 30 days. And I'm going to see if it's just as successful as putting them in the fridge for the 30 to 40 days. Because to me, it, it's kind of easier. It's already in the dirt, ready to go. And 30 days, I just gotta go pop it into my little mini greenhouse on a germination mat and we should be good to go, you know, theoretically. So I'm gonna see how this works out because it'd be really cool to just do this with all seeds that need to be cold stratified, I would think. So instead of having seeds in my fridge, I can just have them out in my greenhouse ready to go. So we'll see how that experiment goes with my lavender and I'll keep you updated. So that's pretty much a wrap for today. I'm gonna to start up some more peppers, get them germinating, get them on these warm mats. And the next time I'll be starting seeds will probably be in March. So from here on out, I feel like it's like every weekend to every other weekend, I'll be starting more and more and filling up this little mini greenhouse. I will keep you updated on my experiments with the lavender and the sweet potatoes. So that's about it for today. So thank you all so much for joining me. Bye-bye. <laughs>